welcome back so in the previous lecture what we have studied was the partition function in a chemical reacting systems we considered those systems on like we computed the partition functions and we also obtained an expression for the equilibrium constant now we move ahead and we see what is the actual partition function when there is chemical reaction occurring so today's lecture we will see the chemically reacting gas mixtures so we will see the chemically reacting gas mixtures we will see how we can develop the partition function of the gas reacting molecules and then we will also find some expression so suppose at any instant of time how many species are present in the entire system so based on that how we can derive a total partition function these are the thermodynamic properties so if we consider a general expression for a rate equation so let us consider n number of species are there so if i want to write out that expression it will be let's say alpha into a capital a this you must have read in your reaction engineering in your btech under graduate course so like that if i keep on writing like this so alpha times alpha coefficients react of a reacting with beta coefficients of b plus like that something gives to uh, in this case we will assume it to be an irreversible reaction it will give you the products rho r plus sigma s plus dot 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 so let us consider such a reaction so in this reaction what it is it says that your overall stoichiometry should be equal to zero so the sum total of the products minus reactant stoichiometry should be equal to zero so we write in this manner actually so if i want to write the stoichiometry and multiply it by their individual species it becomes equal to zero where i represents number of the stoichiometric coefficients at alpha beta like that same way the i in the case of product side leads to this gamma sigma etc so this was we have already studied so we consider a general reacting mixture now based on the chemical th or the classical thermodynamics we know we have seen in the previous lecture also the minimization of the helmholtz free function or when the gibbs potential or the gibbs energy becomes to zero we say that the entire system is at equilibrium so if i want to write down in terms of equation it means that summation of vi into mu i is equal to zero so what is this vi this is your coefficients of the reaction here it's a product of mu i into ui so this mu i is the coefficients of this reaction reaction 1 and mu i is the chemical potential so mu i is the chemical potential of each species at equilibrium multiplied by their stoichiometric coefficients it becomes equal to 0 then we say that the entire system is under equilibrium so in this case it's a reacting system so all the reacting species are at equilibrium and also we know that at equilibrium and especially for chemical potential from the previous module which is given as minus kt ln of qi by ni this we have already obtained the expression of chemical potential in terms of partition function because we have to relate this entire expression of chemical reaction to partition function of a single atom so we know so again i can want to reiterate what we have studied earlier the equations we derive for monoatomic gases are valid for chemical reactions also so here we get the equivalence of chemical potential and and the partition function okay this is nothing new because in the last lecture we have already seen how this chemical potential can be used to compute the equilibrium constant in the same manner how we can use this partition function and compute the reaction rate constant so for the condition for equilibrium so obviously at equilibrium if i want to substitute the expression 
of chemical potential in the expression as before earlier that is if I want to substitute okay if I want to substitute the expression of mu i as as I have written earlier so it means this is true summation of v i into ln of q i by n i is equal to 0 ok I have substituted the value of chemical potential from the previous slide now if I want to rewrite this expression further I can write it down like this summation of ln of q i by n i to the power of their coefficients v i or I can convert a summation to log terms but and then I make it in terms of product terms product terms it will be q i by n i to the power of v i ok. So, I have used the chemical equilibrium concept in the case of reactions and I have replaced the value of mu i chemical potential in terms of partition function and then rearrange this expression to get a uh, expression which is the product of the partition functions to the power of their stoichiometric coefficients. So, what is the equilibrium coefficient now? This equilibrium coefficient you know is just given as the product of q i into v i this is the ex expression which we got earlier ok. So, this is nothing but equal to as we told you this partition coefficient can be written in terms of number density. So, number density it is n i to the power of v i. So, it means that uh, if uh, it, what does it mean is that if suppose the uh, uh, e equation reaction a plus b equal to c. So, it means that it will be nothing but uh, because if they are constants 1 and 1 stoichiometric conference at 1 and 1. So, your v i will be q i summation of in this case if it is a product so sorry it's a product. So, it will be let us say q a raised to the power of minus 1 because it is in the reactant side then q b raised to the power of again minus 1 is the reactant side and q c raised to the power of 1 that is all it means ok. So, the overall it becomes equal to the same thing n a to the power of minus 1 n b to the power of minus 1 and n c to the power of 1 that is what it means. So, if I want to write it down in other manner more simplified manner I can write it like this the product I divide by the total system volume make it like this v i is nothing but i q i I make a dash here to indicate it is per volume basis raised to the power of the v i is again the product of all the number densities n i by v by v i which is nothing but your k n ok. So, it means what I did I divided both the left hand side and right hand side with the system volume and then I wrote this expression as q i dash indicating it is per volume basis is equal to concentration basis. So, I have to convert it from number of molecules to concentration basis and obtain the equilibrium constant. So, this is how we obtain the equilibrium constant in terms of reacting gas mixtures. In terms of concentration this was all about the numbers. So, we have what we have just seen we have found k n in terms of number of molecules ok. Number of molecules but most of the cases in engineering what we do is we are not concerned about molecules because molecules are in the order of 10 to the power of 23 or something like that. We always talk about the concentration terms. So, if you want to convert to concentration terms what you do is you use this expression you know the concentration is equal to number of moles or molecules whatever n i into volume into this Avogadro's number n a v. So, if you do that expression if I convert everything in terms of concentration using this expression I will get. So, the product of all their partition functions 
per volume raised to the power of its coefficients is nothing but the product of all its the terms with having product of concentration multiplied by the Avogadro's number raised to the power of its coefficients. And if I take out this Avogadro's number outside, so you will get it will be n Avogadro, but then here it will be n Avogadro into summation of v i because it is inside product sign, it comes outside, it becomes summation into product of all the concentration raised to the power of its coefficients. Okay. Or this is nothing but equal to k n. So, k c then becomes k c then becomes k c equals to the product of all the terms c i raised to the power of v i which is equal to k n by n average that is n Avogadro to the power of summation of v i or if I simplify it further it will be Avogadro's into minus v i function of q i by v to v i ok or it is nothing but equal to n Avogadro minus summation of v i to i. So, it is just I am just putting this dash representing it represents per volume basis ok. So, what have I done here very simple nothing I have used the same expression of k n and in this what in the k n expression. So, q i by v is c i into n a v. So, what I do did is here because it is n i because we know that uh, n upon v is n upon v expression we know from the previous slide. So, n upon v is nothing but the concentration multiplied by the Avogadro's numbers. So, in place because we know that q i by v i just want to just tell you how it came. So, we have we know this expression basically q i by v by v i equal to this by n i by v by v i. So, what I did in place of n i by v I wrote c i into n a v to so c i into n a v. So, I am substituting this n i by v in terms of c i into Avogadro's number. Then afterwards it is only simplification. So, I have taken the Avogadro's number outside multiplied to the summation of all the coefficients then c i v i this is nothing but k n because this expression is these all expression is equal to k n ok. So, if that is true it means then what I do then I write k c what will be written down in terms of k c k c will be nothing but equilibrium constant is we know if it is a in plus b equal to c it is concentration of c by concentration of b by concentration of a reactants are in the denominator products are in the numerator. So, there I have written and this expression this expression I have already got there is nothing but k n upon this term. So, k n upon this term it is coming and again some simplification finally we obtain this. So, this is the relation between k c and k n k c and k n ok. So, now let us go ahead. So, let us now see now we have obtained expressions for k c and k n both then how can we obtain the other thermodynamic properties? We start with pressure. So, how do we define pressure as before? So, pressure you know we here I will write first the overall partition function Q of T volume and this as a vector n. Why this is a vector? Because it can uh, have molecules of different species which can change with time and which can also change with temperature both. So, we are not considering with temperature we are considering with let us say at any instant of time. So, at any instant of time we will be having species in the product side in the reactant side. So, what is the partition function of that any of those system where you have 
certain number of molecules in the product side, certain number of molecules in the reactant side. So, that is equal to nothing but summation of the product term 1 to s number of species q i into n i star by n i star factorial. So, asterisk this asterisk indicates it is at equilibrium condition. Okay. So, once you write that you should also know that the initial number of moles is nothing but so, number of molecules at any standard of time is equal to initial number of molecules plus the stoichiometric ratio associated with that molecule in the reaction into the conversion that is per molecule conversion. Okay. So, if I do this partial derivative on this you will get this V i into dou x. Okay. So, this is another things we should know because we will be needing this derivative conversions as we go ahead. So, just to again to repeat this is the overall partition function for number of species of a reacting mixture and this is the value which you are familiar now with it the asterisk sign shows the it is at equilibrium. So, this denotes equilibrium. Okay. So, now what we do we write the expression for pressure this is the same expression which we have obtained earlier. So, it is nothing but k t dou L and q by dou v t which is again equal to k t dou of now when you take our L and q you take the L and q from this expression 1 L n of q. So, if you do the L n of q so you will have k t into summation of i goes from 1 to s dou upon dou v at the temperature t this will be equal to n i star n i star into l n of q i minus n i star l n of n i star minus n i star So, will be plus. So, now nothing new because what I am doing is if I am taking a logarithmic on this right hand side. So, it is n i into l n q minus l n of n i star factorial. So, minus l n n i star factorial I am writing through the Stirling's approximation. So, it is n l n minus n. So, minus minus gets plus. So, it becomes a positive sign here. So, this is the overall expression. Now, you have to operate it on each of these terms. So, if I do that what I will get? So, it will be k t it will be k t summation i go from 1 to s to l n q i by n i asterisk asterisk q i by n i star asterisk into do of n i star by do v by temperature plus n i star by v back it closed ok. So, this is the expression uh, where it operates where uh, I have opened the bracket and I have operated this volume on this entire expression ok. So, I have operated this on the entire expression. So, when you do that finally, let us then again simplify this equation further. So, if you want to simplify it further it will be k t k t by v to summation of i goes from 1 to s n i plus k t dou x by dou v to t summation of i goes from 1 to s l n of q i by n i star by v i. Now, where does this v i and this derivative comes into the picture? 
it comes into the picture because I have replaced here I have replaced ni star here in this case ni star so this is ni star ni star means at any instant that is the equilibrium condition so if i then take the integral so it will be dou ni is equal to the stoichiometric coefficients into dou x so that's why this stoichiometric equation comes here and instead of dou n by dou v i am converting into dou x by dou v okay so that's why this ni gets converted to x okay so now I can simplify it further why because this entire term if you see this entire term is nothing but equal to 0 because on the chemical potential condition that summation of ln q i by n i star by v i equal to 0. So what we are left behind is nothing but p equal to k t v by summation i goes from 1 to s by n i star it actually reduces to the simple ideal Gauss law okay because second term is 0 so effectively the second term is basically it shares what is the extent of the volume change with conversion what is the effect of the volume change with conversion at increasing pressures so but at equilibrium condition this disappears so we only have our term which is equal to the first term this KTBY summation of 1 is to S NI which actually reduces to the ideal gas law. Now let us look at internal energy of the reacting species U. So again we will use the same expression U of T V V N bar again it indicates that it is a mixture where it the species of reactants and products which is this definition you are again you will be knowing dou L and Q by dou T at constant volume. Now again you replace L and Q with the expression in the previous slide and do the mathematics. So if I do the mathematics you will get something like this. You will get K T square then summation I goes from 1 to S then ln of Q I and I star dou n i by dou t plus n i star dou ln q by dou t by v bracket closed. So it means so I have two terms so when I do respect to temperature I do the derivative of temperature so it is uh, I am doing it so it will be carrying out some value when you have ln q and again another expression on n so there will be two terms again i rearrange these terms kt square i goes from 1 to s okay ln of qi by ni star into v i dou x by dou t dou x by dou t at constant volume plus n i star dou ln of q i so this will be actually q i q i by dou t ok again here what I have used is I have taken uh, the term in terms of x because ni into d so d ni you know it is xi into dou v so from there actually this stoichiometric coefficients vi appears in the picture vi into dou xi is equal to dou ni so from there this vi has come up it has appeared from that expression i have changing the variable with respect to n in terms of with respect to x that is per mole in terms of molecules so if you do that finally again you separate out the variables kt square and then you have a dou x by dou t v ln of plus kt square summation i goes from 1 to s then uh, 
terms will be as it is second term ni into dou ln q i by dou t on v okay this expression so again simplification what i want need to say is some nothing but a very simple expression will be arriving in the last step that is if i open this bracket further dou ln q i by dou t upon v which is nothing equal to summation of u i into t v n i star i goes from 1 to s now you can uh, now answer easily why is this expression the last expression coming like this this is the reason why reason is again of this term so it is this term so this term at equilibrium is zero this term at equilibrium is zero and we are always talking about equilibrium state if it is at zero so it means the first term goes away so what you are left is only second term so the kt square summation i goes from 1 to s ni into the partial derivative term and this is nothing but the entire energy of the particular species okay so it means if i want to sum them all together species so i get the overall internal energy of the reacting mixture so it means the reacting mixtures overall reacting mixtures internal energy is the sum of the internal energy of the individual species that's what it says okay so it's very simple modification and finally arrival of a logical conclusion and then we come to the constant volume heat capacity it's much more simpler so what you do is here you have cv equal to dou u by dou t by v again you take the derivative of this kt square summation 1 to s n i star v so do some mathematics so i just do the derivative of this kt square with respect to temperature okay so if i do that you will get 2 kt you will get i goes from 1 to s then n i star multiply by dou ln of q i by t okay by v plus k t square into summation of i goes from 1 to s dou n i by dou t okay into dou ln q i by dou t okay plus k t square plus another term k t square summation of i goes from 1 to s n i star of dou 2 ln q i by dou t i okay so it means this particular derivative temperature has operated upon this k t square n i and this derivative term that's why you have three expressions expression one expression two expression three okay so this can be further be modified as summation of i goes from one to s then you have the cvi the individual specific heat capacities plus kt square summation i goes from one to s of dou n i star by dou t into dou ln q i by dou t into v which can be written as summation of i goes from 1 to s c v i plus dou x by dou t k t square summation of v i to dou ln q i 
by dou t by v so again i have taken here in place of dn by dt i am converted into dx by dt so that's why this coefficients have come into the picture so this coefficients i have putting inside this derivative i have included inside this derivative and then simplify it further again is nothing but again i goes from 1 to s cvi plus do x by do t into summation i goes from 1 to s vi kt square do ln qi by do t of v okay or finally what i can write is summation of i goes from 1 to s cvi plus do x by do t constant volume v summation of i goes from 1 to s vy ui okay so this is nothing but vy into ui so this is ui and this is vi so the remaining part is only summation of cvi because this cv this expression of cv if you consider this how do we get this expression kindly uh, note that this expression cv expression uh, if i go to the if you consider the previous slide the expression for cv is the same as we have obtained for monoatomic or diatomic gases the first two terms that is the diff double differential term as well as the term which is equivalent to the single derivative term this is dou ci only the term which is the new one is the middle term so if i want to go back one slide back here I just want to reiterate that if you see this expression plus this expression, if I combine these two, this will be nothing but your summation of I goes from 1 to S of CVI. Okay. Only the term, an extra term which is coming is the middle term, which says the conversion of the number of molecules per with temperature this is the extra term which is coming to the picture so what i have done is i have taken the first and third terms and subsumed it into this term so when i move ahead so it means this term is the sum of the first and third term and this is the second term and this second term again i have converted to in terms of conversion units because that's conversion units i told you already the number of molecules at equilibrium is equal to the coefficient term into the conversion derivative so this is the overall expression for this the cv of a reacting mixture this you should know so this is when i talk of ui here ui ui is the internal energy internal energy per molecule of species per molecule of species okay this is the internal energy per molecule of species okay so we we'll go ahead so if you want to convert into number of moles you will get cv so overall what we get is cv equal to outcome of all the derivation is 1 to s cvi plus dou x do x upon do t by summation of i goes from 1 to s u i by u i okay this is the expression so the first term represents the summation of the heat capacities of the individual constituents at the state of equilibrium this is the first term the second term which is novel has the potential to make a substantial impact on the overall heat capacity due to the occurrence of a chemical reaction the second term is the contribution due to the heat change of the reaction okay due to the change in heat that the heat of the reaction this term gets added up okay so now you see that this is the expression which is actually an additional term an additional degree of freedom in with which is added to the individual specific heat constants so we can also write in terms of uh, moles 
if you want to write in terms of molecular level it is molecule level now i am trying to write in terms of moles so we will just multiply by the Avogadro's number so ni you will multiply by number of moles cvi plus now i write here small x now per mole and then the heat of reaction this will be then nothing but the heat of reaction and the capital u so this is the overall expression which you should understand the overall specific heat capacity at constant volume is thus sum of the individual specific heat capacities multiplied by their number of moles and then the conversion of the number of moles with respect to temperature num moles were in temperature derivative of this with the temperature into the reaction term okay so let us do some simple problems the first problem is what we have studied so far is the illustration one where it says you calculate the equilibrium constant for the hydrogen iodide pyrolysis that is the reaction goes in this manner hydrogen iodide get decomposed into hydrogen and iodine gas at 700 kelvin you are asked to compute the equilibrium constant for such a reaction so in such a case what you need to do is you write down the partition function so what is the partition function in such a case so q so you will have partition function for hi partition function for hydrogen partition function for iodine so uh, luckily all of them are diatomic gases so pretty much easier so q i can write down as as we did earlier you write the translational component h square by 3 by 2 into v into t upon theta r by sigma this is rotational contribution into omega exponential of the dissociation energy to the power of kt upon 1 minus exponential minus theta v by t okay so this is the expression so this expression will remain the same for all the molecules why this very simple fact is all of them are diatomic so if they are diatomic it means you will have a simple single uh, vibrational temperature that is theta v is a only a one expression otherwise it will have been a product of these terms so let us divide this into this expression let's say this is x this is y this is z and you assume that m1 equal to m2 is equal to equal to one atomic mass unit okay which is you know it is 1.6605 into 10 to the power of minus 27 kg okay now substitute all the value for example i want to calculate x first if you want to sub calculate x first you substitute the value i'm just substituting you put it correctly otherwise so this will be 2 only m1 plus m2 is 2 but you have to multiply with the conversion so it is 1.6605 is 7 into k into 700 okay temperature is there so what is there in the bracket in denominator it is 6.626 into 10 rest whole square okay to the power of 3 by 2 substitute these values you will get a value which will be different for different uh, moieties so for uh, for hydrogen this will be equal to for hydrogen this will be equal to around 9.8383 4 3 into 10 rest to the power of 30 this is the x part then y part is pretty much simple y is you just have to insert t 
upon theta r that is nothing but 700 theta r you look up the rotational temperature of hydrogen from the table of the Sandler's book and sigma will be how many it will be two only because there are two combination hydrogen you can have two different orientation so it will be just be equal to four okay like this let us write the expressions for z also for hydrogen same thing we will do for the other two molecules z will be close to one point so if i want to write down the expression it will be easier for you to understand one into exponential of 4.476 into 1.6.602 into 10 raised to the power of minus 19 by 1.38 into 10 raised to the power of minus 23 into 700 okay so omega exponential so all these terms are there 1 into the exponential omega into omega is actually unity so this is your bond dissolution energy in electron volt i multiply with the conversion factor to make it in joules per mole divided by kt k into t okay this i have done then there is another term in the denominator in the denominator it is 1 minus if you remember correctly it is exponential of minus theta v by temperature vibrational temperature of hydrogen is minus 6320 by temperature is 700 so this completes the entire expression if you substitute all the values you will get 1.6919 into 10 raised to the power of 32 okay so if you now multiply for hydrogen q of h2 it is nothing but x into y into z this will be if you have the product together it will be 6.6553 into 10 raised to the power of 63 now you see the q are the order of 63 you should never take always take ln of it but in this case let us go ahead and also find similar values for i2 and also for hi I will leave you to you as exercise but I will write you the final values I suppose you know what is x y and z you write the similar x y z for iodine molecule and hi molecules pick up the rotational vibrational temperature as given in the Sandler's book so if you do that for i2 it will be 3.14 into 10 to the power of 49 and hi it will be 2.49 2.49 7 8 into 10 raised to the power of 55 okay so now you get everything so you write kc expression so kc expression you know it is kh2 by v into q of i2 upon v by q of hi by v square by v whole square because it will be whole square by because it is the expression is 2 hi goes to because expression is 2 dissociation reaction it will be h2 plus i2 so it is 2 times so it is whole square substitute all the values here you will get 6.6553 into 10 to the power of 63 into 3.146 into 10 to the power of 49 by 2.49 into 10 raised to the power of 55 okay 6.6553 3.146 okay maybe you know not be that accurate 2.497 so this if you compute you will get 335 point 689 so this is your equilibrium constant okay so this is how you calculate the equilibrium constant from the individual partition function now i didn't calculate volume because volume anyway it will be cancelled out because the denominator of each of the term has a volume term so it will cancel out with the volume term which you have in your translational partition function outside the translation partition function
so let's us go to another problem the next problem the next problem is also very simple an interesting problematic reaction in a syn gas production is this expression calculate the equilibrium constants from 298 kelvin to 3000 kelvin note that now oxygen has a triplet electronic ground state so everything remains the same only thing is the denominator in one of the compound that is your carbon dioxide will have four different terms because carbon dioxide has four vibrational temperatures oxygen will have only one temperature while carbon monoxide also will have a single vibrational temperature so that is a difference so anyway but i am not writing the detailed solution i am writing the short solution so that you can try it yourself so what will be qco by v if i write in terms of the expressions which you are familiar with qco upon v it will be 2m of carbon dioxide then kt by h square 3 by 2 into t upon theta r so sigma here is 1 co so i am not writing sigma any expression then you, the omega of electronic the degeneracy exponential d naught by kt upon 1 minus minus theta v by t okay so now you have only again single term here now what will you get for o2 again the same term so you can write down here the same expression o2 kt by h square 3 by 2 but only catch here is you will have a sigma equal to 2 because it is diatomic molecule so sigma into theta r sigma is here 2 so 2 into theta r other things will live in the same minus theta v by t now for this a minor change is there for carbon dioxide this will be 2 the 2 pi here is missing you can write there pi here pi here so it will be 2 pi m of co2 mass of co2 kt by h square raised to the power of 3 by 2 again you won't have any symmetry factor you will only have t upon theta r okay into so oh sorry you will have a symmetry factor in this case co2 so you have two different ways you can orient it the co2 molecule so that's why it takes a value of 2 so even because it is uh, not diatomic it is triatomic molecule it can have different orientation having the same structure so co2 has 2 value of sigma has 2 now here again the numerator remains the same do by kt only in this part what you will have is j will go from 1 to 4 corresponding to the 4 vibrational temperature theta j theta j by, by t that is the only change otherwise everything remains the same so once you calculate all these you will get so you can write down this in terms of kn is equal to k C q co2 by v upon q co by v by q o2 by v to the power of half and then what you can do you can convert this kc to kn using this expression kc equal to kn into root over nav that is the avogadro's number okay substitute all the values you will get the values for different equilibrium constant 298 to 3000 kelvin that i am leaving it for you to complete so i am stopping here so again you should go through the book of sandler where you will get to understand how we have obtained this different thermodynamic terms from the reacting mixtures thank you mm -hmm.